stare and look at all these beautiful pictures as we all gather to mourn our fallen loved one. I can't help but think of how big of an impact she left on my life in such a short time. I can hear her laugh echoing through the wind. I can see her dimply smiling face every time I blink, and I can feel her warm embrace every time I space out for too long. However, shortly after my voyage, I crash land back on Earth in this harsh reality of confusing emotion, and I realize how much I hate all of you. I hate you with the passion that burns my soul like the fire of hell itself. How could you turn your back on her when she was at her lowest? How could you tell someone that you love them only to give them a shoulder so cold that it burns when they need you most? And why? Because it was too hard for you to watch? And now I'm supposed to feel sympathy for you as you sit there all teary-eyed talking about coulda, woulda, shoulda, and shit. When I was the one there for her, I was the one picking her up, taking her to meetings, and reaching out to her, and not because I'm some great guy, but because that's what we do. As recovering addicts, we are supposed to lift each other up when we fall because we are all afflicted with the addiction, a disease that is only cured by God and love. But instead of allowing God to work through your love, you want to sit up here and play God through your self-righteous judgments as if you weren't somewhere sucking dick for dope less than two fucking years ago. So no, I have no sympathy for you. You feel guilty? Good. I hope you blame yourself because although you don't have full responsibility over someone else's actions, you could have fucking done more, see? I used to confide in you, and I don't know what for, because now I know the truth where I was confused before. I know if I needed you, you would close your fucking door and turn your fucking back because it's just too hard. My friend ran states away from me because all of you turned your back on her, judged her, and spoke about her like trash to relapse and die alone in a strange place. I looked her misty-eyed parents dressed in black in the face after knowing her for only a year and a half for them to tell me that she, when she died, I was her best friend. Although I am honored by this, I am also filled with rage because I shouldn't have been. Y'all that have known her for years should have loved her until she loved herself, just like everyone did for you as you clawed your way out of the horrors the back of addiction. So as you stand there with tears streaming down your face and realize now that you've made a terrible mistake, I do not feel bad for you. Me and you know how tough of a demon addiction is to fight alone. If either of us had to do it alone, we wouldn't. We would succumb to it in the same way that she did. I don't understand you. In fact, I despise you. Your tears are too late and my concern for your feelings have expired. So to sum things up, fuck you. <laughs>